Okay, so yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. It's uh, Don from Esports News UK here, and uh, maybe you could start by introducing yourselves and who you played for this weekend. Hi, I'm Derek Lemonation Hart, and I'm Joe Crisden, and we played for Team Arcade this weekend. So maybe you could tell us a bit about um, how it was playing at League Fest, right? Because a pro am is quite a new thing, and I thought that was really interesting. Yeah. You know, un unfortunately, you lost it right at the end, right? But you put in some good performances. How how was it for you? Can you reflect on that? It was very fun. It was really close throughout the entire thing. There was a very big swings. Like they got, they got a 160 point lead right away, and then we took like a the two v two. Yeah. Came back after that. <laughs> and then we took a big lead, and then and then we ended up losing at the end. So. Mm. It was very intense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was like one of the first times I've played on a stage that big. So obviously it's not a new experience for, for this guy. But for <laughs> me, it was, uh, yeah, it was crazy playing in front of like a massive crowd, especially in my home country as well. So. Yeah. What did you think of, what do you think of the UK here and the fans and stuff? I really liked how you could drink at the <laughs> event because that's not something that's ever happened at a different event I, that I've I been agree. to. I agree. And I think that's really cool. Like if I wasn't playing, I'd just be drinking the next time. So that'd, that'd be... You maybe. fit in here quite well, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, a few other questions then. Do you, do you think we should see, we should have some more pro-ams? Because I thought it was a really good thing to, to mix those kind of players together, you know? Would you like to see more, maybe in other regions and things? Yeah, I think it'd be cool. I'd do it again. It was fun. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, it helps to grow the scene in which the AM takes place. Like, obviously, if the pros are like advertising the link to the stream and the event, it's going to obviously p attract people, um, and they're going to be interested. So it'll gr help. Yeah, it will help grow the scene quite a lot. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so um, we were going to move on to this sort of British test um, thing. <laughs> so I've got ten questions here about Britain and Good stuff much. in general because I thought it'd be a laugh, right, and a bit of fun. So, so first of all. How well do you think you'll, how many do you think you'll get right out of 10? I mean, I don't know how hard these questions are, but I don't know very much about the UK. I'll go with five, and that, that's me being very confident in myself. Yeah. That's quite high. And it, how many do you think you'll get, Joe? I think Lemon's going to get more than me, and it's going to be really embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so what we'll do is we'll ask you the questions first, and then if you get them wrong, we'll go to Joe, okay? Good. So, yeah. so, um, so first of all, in Cockney rhyming slang, what does apples and pears mean? Oh my god. <laughs> is it? So basically, Cockney rhyming slang is it will rhyme with pears and yeah, it's hard to explain. Apples and pears. Yeah. If it's, I like a, it's like a substitute for the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apples and pears. It rhymes with pears? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Stairs. It's yeah, it's yeah. It's Cockney really rhyming slang is weird. So, so other ones, for example, we've got like uh, the dog and bone. Phone. Okay. So if you say I pick up the dog and bone, answer the dog and bone. <laughs> it means the phone. It's w really, it's walk so up the right. apples and pears and answer the dog and bone. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's oh, kind yeah. of died out a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's okay. So that's the first one wrong. But um, okay. here's one. What's another name for someone who lives in or grew up in Birmingham, where we are right now? Oh, I have no idea. Um, Burmers. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Uh, is it like a, is it like a brum brummy or yeah 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 you got it yeah. brummy brummy yeah okay that's a weird one I feel a bit bad these questions are quite hard I'm okay surprised I, yeah, um, I that one. okay um so the third one is um now this one depends on how well you do if you get it right or not but give us your best impression of of a British person or someone speaking <laughs> oh, British. God. Oh god. <laughs> um, cheerio, old chap. There you go. That's good. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was all right. That was all right. Yeah. I'll give you that one. I'll give it's you like that. Like the one. posh old English people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not posh at all. My Essex, Essex accent is awful. Anyway, yeah. um, so number four. This is a hard one. In English currency, how much is a score? Ooh. Twenty bucks. Twenty pounds, yeah. You got oh, it. You got nice. it. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with that. I mean, twenty is just a common thing, you know. Like it's a good amount. It sounds. I don't know. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it makes sense. I was gonna guess twenty or hundred. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I didn't know that. So. Nice. Nice. No. Well done. So these ones, these are a bit history ones now. So this oh, might okay. be tricky. Yeah, um, and if they're horrible questions, you can blame my wife. But um, how many wives did Henry the Eighth have? 
Seven. Seven. Wait, I just guessed it. <laughs> You're supposed to be correcting him. Oh, okay, I don't, I don't know. Like, is it? It must be a lot. Eight? Is it eight? Six. Six. Oh, yeah, don't worry, I didn't know that one. I didn't know that one as well. I didn't pay attention in history, so. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so next one is, um, what did St. George slay? Um, the French. <laughs> <laughs> a dragon. Yeah, it's a dragon. It's a dragon, yeah. I thought this was history, you know? <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay, so next one is, um, what is the capital city of Wales? Because um, England's easy, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I know, I know the capital city of England. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Cardiff. Yeah, it's Cardiff. It's Cardiff. That's okay. That's okay. This is a tricky one as well because it's a bit debatable. But basically, what's the correct way of serving tea from a teapot? Do you put the milk in first, and then the, the tea, or do you put the tea in first and then the milk? Tea in first, then the milk. Yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah. You got it. So that's free, I think, so far, right? You've got, I think. Free yeah. yeah. Um, cool. um, so last two questions. Fill in the blanks. I'm going for a cheeky what with the lads. That could be a lot of different things. <laughs> <laughs> There's two that spring to mind that I'll give you the, the point for. Two? A cheeky drink with the lads? I don't know. What would you say? I was going to say Nando's. Yeah, yeah, for me, yeah, I'd... There's something else, but it's, uh, it's like a chicken restaurant. <laughs> what? It's like a UK chicken. They literally just serve chicken. Yeah, but it's like a UK cultural and thing. And they're, they're popular enough to be like a, a saying. Yeah, there's one in uh, Resorts World. Where okay. Mm. okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's, pr it's pretty popular. Everyone goes for a cheeky Nando's. I'm, I'm tempted to give you a point for that because I was going to say a cheeky pint as well is something we say here. Oh, but yeah. drink, I'll maybe yeah, give you half for that. Cheeky. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, yeah. Kind of makes sense. I could have got that, damn. Yeah, almost got it. Okay, so last one is name a British League of Legends player other than Joe, obviously. <laughs> other than Joe. It's a hard one. UK scene. Bear in mind, it doesn't oh, have to be someone in UK yeah, scene. It can be someone in the LCS. There's a couple yeah, UK yeah, yeah. pros. Just shows how good UK oh, pros so are, so I guess. Bad. I should know this. Wait, wait, I give up, I give up. No, I was just going to say Kasing. Yeah, Kasing. Oh, he's British. Yeah, yeah. Oh, You've okay. also got Max Law in Giants and Alfari now in uh, Misfits that's just qualified, you know, for years. And LCS. I guess I was Impaler as well. I don't know what he's yep. doing now, but. Yeah, no, that's cool. So I think with that, you got um, sort of three and a half or four if I was being kind. So that's, that's okay. How, how, would you, how was that? How would you rate your performance? I thought I did okay. Not as good as, as I was hoping. I didn't get the five, but. I think it was an honourable effort. <laughs> okay, nice. I don't and know anything about American culture, so... <laughs> I've got to ask something now. Um, the, I saw the Twitter picture you guys put out. Yeah. Are, are you getting many comments saying Joe is a mini lemon nation? What do you think about the comparison yeah, like, there? Like, um, like, we were just, <laughs> we were just uh, outside the league fest. And someone came up to me, he's like, I thought you were Lemon Nation. And then he's <laughs> <laughs> saw Lemon, he's like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll get a picture of him instead of me. So <laughs> it's to be expected, though, I guess I'm just like a random. So. Nice. And how was it sort of playing together as well in line? Because I've watched a few of the matches and it, it you know, it seemed yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, um, it was fun. Joe's a cool guy. It was, it was nice playing with him. Yeah. Cool. I think I started off pretty, uh, pretty terrible. Like, I was kind of nervous playing on stage and playing against like Maple Street and stuff. But, um, like after the first day, like on the second and third day, I think I performed quite well and we were, I'd say we were like winning lane. We, we had pressure on them. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially in that last game, like mm -hmm. we, we uh, 2v2 and killed them, didn't we? So, In the yeah. mirror match. Yeah, in the mirror match. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like, uh, yeah, it was, and obviously laning with Lemon's like amazing because he's, he knows what to do at all times and tells me what to do as well. So yeah, it was a great experience. So w what's next for you, uh, Lemon? What, what's on your on the horizons going forward? Well, I head back and then I move into a new place with High and Balls and Kong, but I don't think you guys know them. And then uh, I go to PAX right away. Oh, cool. Yeah, and then and then we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And what about you, Joe? I guess this is 
like a cool experience, you know. Yeah. Um, you're with Excel as well in the UK scene, um, and how are you doing with sort of those guys? Well, yeah, we're hoping to practice hard after I series and uh, yeah, ho hopefully win the UK scene ESL Premiership. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll just go back to being a, a UK random. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, I think that's everything, guys. Um, thanks very much for your for your time. Is there anything else you want to add about League Fest or your time here or anything? Uh, no, it, it was amazing. I really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, it was a gr really great event. No. no. Okay. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Thanks Cheers. Tom. Thank yeah. you. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank Cheers. you. Guys. Cheers.